This is the plaintiff, Deborah Melchiona. She says the defendant stole her beloved dog, Prince Giuseppe, and refuses to give him back. That's right. He watched the dog for her for one night and now refuses to return it to her. She went to the cops. He was arrested on felony charges. But she still can't get him to return Prince Giuseppe. And she's suing him for the $5,000. She's now owed. This is the defendant, Ralph Liguori. He says the plaintiff was down on her luck and couldn't care for the dog, so he offered to take it from her until she got back on her feet. The crazy lady, however, never gave him the dog to care for and is now accusing him of stealing it. That's right, he doesn't have her dog. He's never had it, and the plaintiff's making up all of this stuff, trying to score a big payday. He's accused of puppy snatching. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Deborah Melchiona? Yes. You are suing Ralph Liguori for $5,000, $1,200 for a dog you say he stole from you, and $3,800 for mental anguish. Tell me what happened here. Um, we were on the boardwalk. He said he would take the on dog. On what boardwalk? Uh, South Beach. Of where? In Staten Island. Okay, I come from a different South Beach. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, go on. And he said he would take the dog overnight and return it to me. How did you two know each other? Uh, I met him from going to the beach. Okay, how long had you known him? I don't know, a few months. Okay. And then on the 16th, he called me up and told me that the dog had a broken leg, and he took it to Dr. Panisi, who is my vet in Brooklyn, and he never took the dog there. Why was it that he was holding on to your dog, according to you? Well, he said he was going to hold it and give it to me the next yeah, day. Yeah, but if someone says, hey, I'll hold your dog, I'll give it to you the next day, I say, no, you won't. <laughs> like, I'm asking what was, why was he in, did you need him to hold the dog? I'm trying to figure out what happened here because you're not making sense to me when you say that. I, you know, nobody can take my dog from me if I don't want them to. That's why I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. Well, I trusted him and... Now, why did you need to get rid of your dog? Why? I didn't did, need to get rid of it. Then why did you hand your dog to anybody? What was the purpose of handing your dog to someone else? Well, he said he was going to hold it for me overnight and give it to me the next day. Why, okay, are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Why would you need him to hold on to the dog and give it to you the next <clears throat> day? Why would he want to hold on to the dog and give it to you the next day? Why don't you hold on to your own dog? Well, I wanted to hold on to the dog. I trusted him. I thought he was going to Why give it back. Why would you give your dog to him? For what purpose were you giving your dog to him? Why couldn't you keep your dog? I could. Then why did you hand your dog to a person that you knew from the boardwalk? I don't know. I just No, but I there has to be a reason. I did, trusted him. Were you him. homeless? Were you staying with a friend no, who couldn't I, have dogs? Were you unable to care for the dog? There has to be a reason. Who's the person with you? My son. You got any light to shed or you want me to leave you alone? What do you know? As far as I know, um, when I approached Ralph on, on the boardwalk, he stated to Did me that- Did you know I, Ralph before this? I never seen this guy okay, day in my so life. so your mom tells you, what does she tell you that <clears> gets, <throat> makes you get involved? Well, that somebody took her dog. Okay. And that he wouldn't return the dog. Okay. Do you have? Do you know of any reason why your mother would give someone their well, dog? Well, she to was begin in with? between apartments and. Okay. Where why she... can't she say that? I mean, that would make sense. Yeah. If you're in between apartments, then you are not living anywhere, at the moment, and you can't yeah. bring your dog with you to homelessness or couch <clears throat> surfing. Is yeah. that what happened? I was never homeless. I always no, had a place but I mean, to stay. Were you staying at a friend's? Yes. All right. And uh, so, according to. To, she tells you I'm in between apartments and he was holding the dog for me yeah. and what, what happens? You approach him and what happens? I approached him on the boardwalk. Uh, he surrounded me with two of his friends. They started threatening me. Um, he stated that he did take the dog and that he did have the dog for two weeks and that he took the dog to the veterinarian in Brooklyn, that is my veterinarian also, that because the dog broke its leg and that he tried to get a hold of my mother couldn't get in touch with her, and that he went to the corner store by his house and just gave the dog away. I don't believe that. I talked to the uh, owner of the store. He never saw the dog or Ralph in the store. I checked the uh, dog stores around in the area. I talked to neighbors. Even one of his neighbors gave him up, 
said where he lived and everything, but the guy just does, doesn't want to come forward because he's scared of him. Okay, but um, the police went to your house, right? Yes, Sean. Uh, did you send the police to his house? Yeah, after we found out where he lived. Right, and then did the police go into the house and look for a dog? Yes. And did they find a dog? No. All right, what happened with the dog issue here? What happened? I have no idea. Well, something happened. She didn't just pick you out I... of blue to talk about her dog with. I mean, come on. All right. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I observed uh, Deborah up on the boardwalk. She was living out of uh, garbage bags. And uh, I met her, she had one dog, not two dogs. She had one dog, and then a couple of days later, she had two dogs. And the story was, she was I, I approached her, she was crying. I said, what's going on? She says that somebody took her for a ride in the car, put a, a pillowcase over her head, and robbed her first dog. No. So that, I said to her... The plaintiff says the defendant stole her dog, Prince Giuseppe, but he says she was on the ropes and couldn't take care of the pooch. Let's listen. I said to her, Deborah, listen to me. This is a two-month, three-month-old puppy you got left with. I says, give me the dog. Here's my phone number. Call my phone now. I said, you could see I'm not lying. I told her I live right across the street. I said, give me the dog. When you get on your feet, get yourself settled, I'll give you the dog back. She says, let me think about it 10 minutes. I said, okay. She didn't even take 10 minutes. She says, listen, I'll give you the dog. I have to come with the dog. I have to stay with the dog. I said, absolutely not. My landlord won't allow it. I won't allow it because you look like a problem. You look like you ain't got yourself settled. And that was it. And that was it. Then two days later, she approached me up on the boardwalk, screaming at me, you took my dog, I want my dog, I took my dog, I want my dog. I said, listen, Deborah, I ain't got your dog. You ain't never watching your dogs. They were running around loose, a two-month-old, three-month-old puppy. I didn't take your dog, get away from me. And then that was that. Then two days later, her son approached me up on the boardwalk. He says, listen, my mother said, she gave you the dog. I wanted to die. I said, listen, your mother never gave me the dog. I told That's your mother. That's not what he says you told him. He says you told him that you had the dog for a few no, weeks and then I, couldn't I reach the mom. I never told him that. I never told I never met this guy before. He came and told me. Yeah, my, but when he talked to you, he says that what you told him was that you I had the dog for a couple him, weeks. I never told him that. I said, your mother, I offered your mother to take the dog. I'll give it back to her when she gets on her feet because she was staying out of a car. I was and not. sleeping up on a boardwalk. I was not. Okay, I need and to stop And then I... Uh, I said to the kid, you better straighten that out with your mother, I said. She never get, I, She offered to come with the dog, and I told her, absolutely not. As the goodness of my heart, I wanted to take the puppy, not to help her, to help the dog, because the dog ain't got a mind. He can't help himself. He's only like, if they were children, the state would have took these dogs away from this woman. So yeah, you okay. just did it instead of the state? No, doing? I didn't do it. I never had possession of the dog. Yes, he did. The do you have any kept... evidence from any independent witness that he had? Why would she say that you did? What I you have no going idea on? Do you why think she, she has a drug or alcohol problem? I, you... uh, from her situation, uh, listen, I'm not going to judge nobody on if I don't know. But her situation where she was at, uh, I believe there was some kind of problem, but the dog has nothing. Uh, what happened to the other dog? The one that has okay, stop to talking. Do it, Press the off all, button. What happened to the other he dog? He took the dog on. What happened to on the other dog? On the 14th. Dog? On the 17th is when somebody else took my other dog. How did and that person take friends. your other dog? I need you to stop with the gesticulation. I'm sorry, Yana. And uh, how did another person take your other dog? The other, uh, the other person is under investigation from the anti-crime victims unit. How did another person take your other dog? He drugged me and he took my dog. <sighs> and he knows who he is too. And I never ever asked him to stay with him. I had a place to stay. I wasn't living out of shopping bags the whole entire time. And my son could verify that. <sighs> Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So um, if, you know, during the testimony, he says, if this were a child, it would be taken by the state. Does that sound like he, she abandoned the dog or that he stole the dog? It sounds like he's looking out for the dog. It, maybe it was being treated poorly or it was in bad conditions and he thought it was best interest for the dog. So it sounds more like stolen. 
correct. Yeah. Okay, what do you say? Yeah, I think he stole the dog. Because? Because he. it sounds like there was some bad treatment, but then it wasn't his dog. Fair enough, fair enough. What do you say? I say abandoned. I think maybe he thought the dog was, maybe the dog had been abandoned and he was taking steps to see that the dog got help. Okay, fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. I get the sense from you that you think you're best suited to decide the best home for the dog kind of thing, and you're not, okay? Um, dogs, we may love dogs, but they're property, and if it doesn't belong to you, it doesn't belong to you. Now, I'll tell you what makes me suspicious. It's the statement, if they were children, they'd have been taken by the state, you know, because that sounds like a preachy kind of, I know better than you, I can, uh, I, can, I can play God in this situation and decide who gets to keep a dog. That's the kind of statement that sounds like. That's what bothers me. I mean, what kind of dog was this? It was a Chihuahua mixed with a Yorkie. Where do you? Um, and the dog how do you, was four months old when I. How get, did you get the dog? I paid for it. Okay. Do you have proof of what you paid for the yes, dog? Yes, I do. It's right here. Okay, you're in between apartments and you pay twelve hundred dollars for a second dog. Yes, I did. <clears throat> I feel like you took the dog. Excuse me. I feel like you took the dog. I want to give you a chance to talk me out of that. Yvonne, I swear to God, Yvonne, I didn't take this dog. Believe me. I offered to do the right thing, and she wanted to come with the dog. The problem I is did that the nuttier she sounds, the, dog. the more I believe you had the dog. Okay, that's well, where the problem that's lies. A, that's the a, more she sounds like she shouldn't have a dog, much less a second no, dog, that the she more shouldn't. I, the more she, it feels like you did take no, the dog. No, I, I, and I then believe, not I believe that in my heart that she shouldn't have took care in her position that she had these two puppies. Listen, it was I had no a right to have to drag these puppies through this. I tried to do the right thing, but I wasn't. Ta I didn't care. What the, was so bad about her situation that was making the puppies so unsafe? What was it? By watching the way she was living up there with two dogs. I was living up there. I need you to stop talking. How is it that she was living that seemed so wrong? What was what was the problem with her having dogs? That she was sleeping up on a boardwalk. Why? And she was hanging up there at night. Why? Okay, I'm out sorry. I need you to turn around, turn around, <laughs> and stop talking. Go ahead. Hanging out up there at night, improperly dressed. What do you mean, first. improperly dressed? Uh, she had one night, uh, one day she came over with a bunch of us sitting there. She had a wraparound thing there with a skirt, with a, a slit on the side with no underpants on. No, I okay. had a baby. I, I need you to her, wait. And a couple of gentlemen sitting with me told her, there's kids around here, please don't come by <gasps> us. And we chased her. So, chased her? Uh, yeah, we chased her away a few times. We chased her away. We told her, don't come hang by us. She hanged, she'd come and hang out. She just walk from bench to bench, hanging out up there, not even watching Why? these two puppies. It was a shame, Your Honor. I would have took the dogs, but I didn't take them. I didn't want to have a problem with her like I'm having now. I think you took them. And I yeah, wasn't he taking took the her dog. in my house. Yeah. And All right, and we're, done. we're done. We're done. We're done. I think you took the dog. I swear to God, I think you took the Your dog, Honor. and I think you feel like you were doing uh, God's work by taking the dog. I would have. I would have. I am but finding I didn't in her favor. I want, favor I want well, you to stop talking. Right. I apologize. You shouldn't yeah. have dogs while you are this. You know, like you, that's that's a big responsibility. Yes. If you are in between places and or the last and the most irresponsible thing you could possibly do is spend twelve hundred dollars on a dog, but. Yeah. Dogs are property. They're not children. They're property. You I may think they're children. <laughs> you know? They may all of a sudden all be service animals. <laughs> they all fly next to me on an airplane while I have allergies. <laughs> they all sit in a chair next to me in a restaurant because they're your children, but they're not. They're property, OK? You can own all the property you want. I think you took the dog. I think you thought you were doing the right thing by taking the dog, and you weren't legally. I'm finding in your favor in the amount of $1,200. I am not finding in your favor for mental anguish. I believe the son when he says that's what you ended up telling him. Good luck to you. Thank you. Well, in kind of a surprise decision, the judge said she I'm believes the surprised. plaintiff. She thinks you took the dog. Sir, if you'll step over there, please. Yes, what? How do you respond? Take, I didn't take these dogs. Believe me, I didn't take the dog. I didn't. It's interesting, isn't it? The judge thinks yes, you did. I try to be a nice guy. I try to do the right thing, and I got dragged through this, and I didn't take the dog. All right. You must sign some documents out there. Here comes 
The plaintiff now, you know, I think everybody is still dumbfounded yes. as to why you couldn't give the judge an answer when she said, why would you let him well, take I the dog? Well, because I was a little nervous. Well, tell me then, why would you give him the dog at any well, time? Well, he said that he was giving me the dog back. Not, yeah, but why would you give him a dog to begin with? Why? The judge couldn't understand that. I know. And you, st you still don't have an answer. Well, the thing was, I trusted him. He said he was giving it back, and Why he didn't. did you want to give him the dog to begin with? He talked me into it. Really? Yes. What did he say, give me the dog, let me have the dog for a yeah. while? Yeah, he told me. He said, give me the dog overnight, and he admitted it to my son. You know, something doesn't make sense here. I don't know. You're lucky. You're getting well, $1,200. I'm lucky. I'm only getting 1200 but... Yeah, but it still doesn't make sense. I think everybody's thinking, what is going on here? Well, the thing is, I won, and that's all that counts. Okay. Strange case. Okay, <laughs> good enough. A oh, really strange case, Harvey. What do you think? Okay, hey, Doug, by the way, uh, you know this. Uh, small claims court judges do not have the power to order the return of property. They can ask, but they can't order. And that will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.